welcome back to X3 Gaming. In the last episode, we ended in the Nether Fortress, which we had converted to be a wither spawning platform. And pretty much right after we stopped recording, a bunch of wither spawned and killed Jeffrey and me. So Jeffrey lost most of his stuff. I got some of mine back. But anyway, we came back to the surface and we got re-equipped. As you can see, I have a different level number. I had like 50-something levels. Now I'm at like 18. Um, got new weapons and stuff. I recovered all my armor. And right now, while I was up here, I decided to work on the castle. So as you can see, I put doors on every tower. Um, and two of these towers, I have made them into guest rooms with just empty chests and beds and all that. And in the other one, I plan on putting my alchemy lab. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the fourth tower. That's going to be an empty one for now. And then this one over here is the other bedroom. So this is going to be an alchemy lab. First off, I'm going to have my water, infinite water source for my, for my potions. So let's see here. It's going to go there. Now I'm debating if I should use these steps or if I should use spruce wood stairs. But right now this looks pretty good. So we might just stick with this. Fill that up. And then I was going to put these as pedestals. I'm going to have two brewing stands. One there and one there. And then, I don't know, I think I'll leave it like that actually, so yeah. Let me go fetch my brewing stand and make one more brewing stand real quick. Um, I need a blaze rod, and I need a crafting bench, so here we go. And if you're not aware, this is the diagram, or this is how you make a brewing stand. So let's get this other one, I don't think there's anything in it. There's actually some blaze powder. But I imagine it won't, um, wait, did I just break it? Apparently you have to have a pickaxe, so I just wasted a brewing stand. That's nice. Okay, that goes there, and that goes there. Do they stack? Yes, they do. Alright. So these are going to go rot there, and rot there. Now I'm going to put a chest, a double wide chest here and a double wide chest here. One of them will be for um, brewed potions and the other will be for potion ingredients. So first actually let me place these chests. I, I made a bunch because I was, um, as you can see over here, all my chests are gone. That's because I moved them downstairs and started labeling and organizing where all my materials are going to be. Okay, so I'm just going to break this chest open start transporting goods. How did that get all the way over there? Whoa. Alright. Yeah, it's kind of laggy. Sorry about that. So, which one should be which? I'm thinking potions over here. So, I'll just for now, I'm just going to plop them in there, and later I will categorize them. And then, same for the ingredients. For now, I'm just going to put them all in there. Um, I'm going to be ordering a new laptop soon, so hopefully in the next episode or the next in the, within the next few episodes, I should have a much better um, video quality. And potions. I'm going to put the glass bottles in the ingredients because that makes more sense. And I can go ahead and mine this up. I suppose I need to replace this so I don't have water everywhere. Okay, got that. And it looks like I picked everything up except for the mushrooms. I'll be right back to those. Just put all these in there. Um, okay, let's grab the mushrooms and I think we're done. And I'll categorize them off camera. I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me just do some inventory arrangement. So that's good for now. Oh wait, I have more potions. Okay. I'll fill up my water bucket later and now what I want to do is add some trap doors at the top of all these towers so that when it rains I don't get rain all the way down at the bottom because I noticed last time it was raining, it was raining all the way to the bottom. So let's go ahead and put these on all of them. I want it to open down like that. And I also want to add a cool little nether rack feature at the top of each tower. So let's see, go to the middle. I need to find where the exact middle is. It's 
maybe it's there. We'll see. Looks like that's the middle. Yeah. Is it? I do believe. All right. Now what I'm going to do is take some stone brick stairs and put them all on each four corners. And I'm going to do this for each tower, but I won't make you watch. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going out. All right, here we go. So we're just going to have a, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but that's a fire thingamajig at the top of each tower. And I'm going to put this at the top of each tower. So I will be right back as soon as I'm done with that. Okay, guys, and here's the last one. Now we're going to head downstairs, and I'll just briefly show you um, how I've organized all of my various items that I have. Okay, get that ladder real quick. Alright, so in this bottom of the tower, this first double eye chest, I'm just going to fill up with armor because I have a lot of it from the uh, skeleton trap. Um, right now I have signs, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Actually, I'll do that right now. I don't know if I have enough sticks, but here, we'll just give you an example and then I can do the rest later. But I'm going to make item frames and put, oops, and put an example item of what's in the chest on the frame. So. I'm debating if I should put it here or if I should put it actually on the chest like that. Um, I think I like, I think I like on the wall better. So we'll get rid of that sign, and obviously this has valuables. So I'm thinking we put a diamond on the front. It's a pretty clear indicator of what's in there. Yeah, I like that. And on another world that I have, I actually have the item frames on the chest, but I think I like this better now. So I'll do all that sometime later. Ooh, wow, that was really like. But yeah, I'll put this on each of the chests. So as you can see, this one is just um, various tools that I've made already. Uh, this is miscellaneous items, so things that I get out of dungeons mainly, and mob drops, as well as our map. Just take a look at that real quick. That is our beautiful island of Punchwood Island. Put that back. Um, over here we got plant things, like tree saplings and seeds and all that. Uh, food, pretty self-explanatory, and animal products. And then I also had these random items that I wanted to put here, but I that I didn't want to put in the miscellaneous. Okay, um, over here. And I finally got all my pumpkins and melons to all grow in, so I'm really happy about that. And I put um, some diamond armor over there at one point. In the other bottom of the tower, I have a uh, chest for nether stuff, uh, wood products. Um, these are the three new minerals from the 1.8 update. Um, over here I got a dirt chest, very exciting I know, cobblestone. And this is my gravel chest and eventually if I get sand I'll put it in there as well, gravel and sand. And then this double edged chest is my building materials chest, just leftover building materials. Alright, I think that covers it for storage. I'll show you what I did um, downstairs real quick and then I'll cut out and we will prepare for our nether expedition. We'll go back and we will get a wither skull. Um, so yeah, I furnished this with furnaces. I have a chest here which I'm going to make be an ender chest later on. And as you know, I'm going to turn these into emerald blocks and obsidian blocks as I get them. And then over here what I did so that I wouldn't have to worry... Wow, that was laggy. So I wouldn't have to worry about mobs getting into my house. I've got a door to the entrance now. And I've got a trap door which I have going all the way down into the cave. And the old stair step which you can still faintly see that I had that used to go up into the skeleton um, dungeon is now gone. So that I don't have to worry about when I'm walking up the stairs the skeletons can shoot at me which was a bad design. So now I just have this ladder that comes down instead with the trap door. And I'm going to keep it closed pretty much all the time. Oh crap, is that you? Oh sorry, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to hit you, you scared me. Oh yeah, I have a pressure plate here so it opens the door automatically. Sorry for hitting you. And as you can see, I filled in the floor here. I actually added a half slab here so that um, I wouldn't have to worry about the skeletons shooting me because at some sometimes they were still able to hit me. So, wow, that's a powerful sword. Smite 4. Anyway, I don't want these bones or that arrow, really. Okay, so I think that about covers it for all the things I've done while off camera. So I'm going to go get ready for our nether expedition and... We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are now in the nether, and before we head over to the fortress, I just wanted to show... Oh, there's a chicken. I just wanted to show you a project that we had started working on, 
Whenever we were talking about building the spawning platform for the withers, I didn't do any research and I just kind of assumed that withers could spawn on nether brick no matter where it was at. So what we were going to do is find a big lava lake and build a big platform over it because there's nowhere else to spawn except on our platform. And it th sounded like a good idea at the time, but then after doing a little bit of research I found out that withers can only spawn in areas that are actually designated as nether fortresses. So the game only allows a certain area that they can spawn in. So I'll just show you the little attempt at a platform that we started to make and then I did my research. It just goes way over there. I started making the square and then we stopped once we realized it was a bad idea. But the reason we didn't take it down is because this could still be used for a zombie pigman gold farm. And there will be more on that later whenever we actually do that. But for now I just wanted to show you guys that. So I'm going to head over to our fortress and start killing some withers. Alright guys, and here is the fortress. So what we're just going to do is I'm going to head down there so that I can like be in the area and then they'll start spawning. Just, how did I get down there? <laughs> okay, I think this is the way. Go over here and there we go. This is one of the most dangerous places ever. There's some blazes, I'm not too worried about them. I'm definitely more worried about the withers because one hit from then is almost instant death and then you get the wither effect. Okay, I think I've made this area be spawnable now just by being here. And we have an angry blaze. Okay, where are you buddy? I'm going to make sure wither doesn't come at me. I'd much rather face a blaze any day. Where'd he go? I don't see him. And I don't see any wither skeletons either yet, surprisingly. Because as soon as I took the torches down, like, that last torch down, there was like cut several. So I'm surprised there aren't any yet. This is a perfect ledge for shooting at them too. Okay, well, I guess we'll just kind of cut out for now until something exciting happens. Hopefully we'll get some good uh, wither, wither fights, so stay tuned. Blazes? Alright. Um, let's, let's do a run through here. We're going to make a, uh, a kind of a, a shelter inside of here that we can hide in. And we're also going to try to like run through the whole fortress so we can get it kind of like activated. You coming? You need to watch my back. <laughs> All right, is looks like we got a blaze. Well, let's work together. All right, I got him. I'm gonna check this uh, side hallway. We're clear. Don't shoot the pigmen, and they won't mess with us. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn the corner. Good on both sides. Alright, I'm thinking we can build, actually first I want to check this, because I started to hollow this out more, so it's an option. Alright, um, let's build a little safe house. Actually, perfect place, this hallway that I blocked off, we'll just light it up. Perfect place. Yeah, dig a hole in the center. I think, it, does it have a center? Alright, you, I can't see. Is this the center? Yes. Let's put a door on this thing. Here, come in here. Actually, you guard my back while I make a crafting bench and a door. There, I guess. Good as place as any. Good of place as any. Wow, we got three doors. We don't really need three doors. But. Okay, and I do believe we're safe. <laughs> Alright, come in here real quick. Now let's uh, put a chest or something in here. Did you open it again? Glass doors? That would be cool. Yeah, you can make glass in the nether. Um, is one chest enough? It probably is. You want to each have a chest? Alright, then you got to make your chest. Cause I don't want to waste my wood. I don't have much wood with me. I got some uh, items killing some zombie pigmen. I'll leave that there for now, just so I have a backup sword, I guess. Um, 
put cobble there, I guess. And I don't need doors right now. Okay. Um, here, let's heal up, because, let's see, we're both really low on health. I'll, I'll use one of my health potions for us. I've got enough extra gold. You ready? It doesn't really matter. I could throw it, like, right now. Like, right now. How much did you heal? Oh, we're both up to 18 health. Okay. Did you just... Did you, oh, you're going to center it. Okay. I'm going to move these torches to the to the walls. You're on the right. Okay, yeah. Well, your last name is right. So. What are you doing? Oh. Alright, that is plenty lit up, I do believe. So, let's, uh. I like the shield. I'm gonna start using axes pretty soon. I'm gonna make like a diamond axe and enchant it with like sharpness one or sharpness something on it. Cause like right now six attack with that and an iron axe is nine. So soon I'm gonna start just using axes as primary weapons once I use up all my swords. All right. So if you wanna watch my back while I mine out this area over here, I, I was widening out a uh, chamber when we quit last time for more um, spawnable area. So if you just want to watch my back while I do that, I feel much safer. Especially watch that dark hallway that we haven't been down for a while. So we can basically expand this area as far as the nether brick floor goes. So it looks like it ends there, yeah. So we can take it all the way out to there, which is an additional, like, I don't know, 20 or 30 blocks of possible spawn area. So. And I'm going to make it three high because wither skeletons are three high. Um, Alright, so until something cool happens. No, don't put torches. We're fine. Until something cool happens, we'll uh, cut out. I got a magnet cube, guys. Let's get this little bugger. Where'd he go? It's a big bugger, actually. I'm going to kill him from afar. Now he's going to make babies. Lots of little babies, actually. Stay back. Come on, give me some magma cream. I'm gonna make sure there's not a ghast or something behind me. Actually, I think I need to eat. Where'd my chicken go? Okay. Let's try out this shield now. Let's see how it works. Actually, I don't really want to lose health by... Oh, there's a blaze. Time to go. Those magna... Um, cubes down there are mine, don't kill them. But there's also a blaze. <laughs> gotta watch for both directions. I think I got him. Did I get him? Yeah. Alright, never mind. Uh, you can go away. Don't steal my magna cubes. I don't think I've gotten any cream yet. Come on, give me some cream. Oh, there's one left over here. Oh, a couple left. Die. Still no cream. This last one better give me some cream. Wow. No cream. That was lame. I think we've already explored all this area and just taken the torches down, so there should be nothing in this chest. But here's a nice long empty hallway that we could mine out eventually, although that's quite a bit of work. And it looks like it's a dead end. Yep. Let's see, I don't really need all that in my hot bar. And I'm getting attacked from behind, and there's lag. Okay, so the wither is way down that hallway. I don't know if he saw me or not. It looks it looked like he noticed me. It's to the left, and I have these pillars that I can't really see behind. I don't know if there's anyone behind those. Okay, there he is. Get back. Crap, 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 crap. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, I got hit. Did you shoot me? You shot me. Jeffrey, you took several hearts away from me. You owe me healing. 
Did we get a wither skull? No, we probably just got a little bit of coal or something. Yeah, you have to heal me up later whenever you need healing too. Okay, I don't want these bones. Well, there's always a chance that we'll find more wither skeletons like we just did, so it's a good time to explore. Yes, it is a good way to go. Uh, no, he didn't hit me. You hit me. Oh, wow. This is a maze. Now I don't really know where I'm at. I'm going to head back the way I came. Is another wither right down here. And he didn't see me. And he's actually really hard to get at. Here, Jeffrey. Um, you get my back. I'm going to run in. And then I'm going to, like, run back behind you. And you shoot at him while he comes at me. Got it. Wait, maybe I'm blind. Maybe there wasn't a wither. No, there definitely was. Yeah, I saw him. Maybe I saw the fence. Oh, I feel dumb now. Oh, yeah, there's definitely one. There's definitely a wither. I'm getting out of here. All right. Jeffrey, you're going to die. Where? Jeffrey, he's there. There he is. There he is. He's, a, he's peeking around the corner. What corner? This corner. Just come back the way you came and. Okay, I hit him. He's coming at me. No, he's not. He doesn't see me. Okay. I killed him. And he dropped coal and a bone. Just wonderful. Okay, guys, so I actually died fighting some magma cubes, which is pretty <laughs> pathetic. And we also have a gas trying to destroy our platform. He's just below this corner, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm an idiot. I thought I was holding shift, but I was actually holding uh, the control button, which is sprint. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and heal up. That was, that was really dumb of me. Oh, there's a gas. Dibs, he's mine. Well, he's kind of over lava right now, so I won't get his tear. No, he's not. Now he's over lava. Come on, buddy. I'm going to hide behind this pillar. Alright, come on. Actually, I think I hear two gas. Hit him once that way. Oh, maybe not. He's about to shoot at me. Where'd he go? Make your way. Oh, I just hit him and he's going to die over lava. Pretty sure he died over lava. That stinks. Now I gotta get back up there. Didn't we hollow out one of these pillars for yeah. for climbing purposes? I think this one is. So at least I have a fast way up there. I still hear a gas somewhere. So there's definitely still one left. Oh, this is gonna eat up a lot of hunger. What's happening? Oh, just a blaze. Not a big deal. I can't believe I died. It was a it was a pretty big magma cube. And I already had low health from Jeffrey shooting me in the back with an arrow. But still, it's kind of dumb to die to a magna cube. So much farther. Okay, here we are. Where am I at now? That would be useful information to know where I'm at. Do I holding shift? No, I don't. Okay. I'm on the right level now I just have to find my way back out of the maze I think it's this way yes yes it is oh I see you just killed your last blaze I don't see any wither skeleton okay you still owe me a stack of 32 arrows and all the wooden planks I was carrying when I died and our door is open currently that's not good here give me my stuff down to my last healing potion that I have with me. And you still owe me healing because you hit me that one time. The next time we need to heal, you gotta do it. You owe me some wood. Yeah, let's go in here. <laughs> you owe me wood planks and uh, about 32 ish arrows from when I died. What happened here? Yeah, we got Magna Cream though. So. Some arrows. Good. And my wood planks, which is actually useful down here for like making stuff. Ok, 
Okay. Well, we've killed, we've each killed several withers now, and still no skulls. We're just gonna keep doing it. There are two wither skeletons over here before, and there's a random chicken too. It's really weird. Hey, Jeffrey. All right. Okay, I'll take the one. All right, Bo both aim for the one on the left. The the left is closer. Um, actually, well, yeah. Let's not shoot at the pigmen too. Let's wait until. All right, let's shoot at the one that once he stops moving. Okay, they're both in that. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Ooh, what? Okay, we got him. Now it's now there should there's another one behind the corner. Let's get closer. Don't hit the pigmen because there's two pigmen out here. Where did he go? All right, wait. I'll tell you. I'm ready. You ready? Go now. All right. All I see. All I see is coal. <laughs> Hit a pigman and he hit me and he called his friends and he called zombies. Watch out, watch out. I just hit you, I didn't mean to, sorry. Okay, I'm healing up. They're all coming in. I noticed. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so I got most of my stuff back already because my brother got it. But um this zombie pigman happened to steal my best sword and pretty much all of my armor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this other zombie pigman first so he doesn't ambush me. And I don't think I see any over there. Do I? What is that? No, that's a chest. Okay. Oh, here he is. He's going to come right out for me. Okay. Oh, that was easy. He was already damaged, I guess. Now let's hope his friend... Okay. That was, that was a lot easier than I was thinking it would be. Okay, sweet. And he, had, he dropped a gold ingot for me. Thank you. Okay guys, just kidding, um, I'm back again, I just saw a wither skeleton and a normal skeleton, so, oh crap, uh, when we first take out the normal skelly, I think Jeffrey's coming through the other hallway to help me, I just have a good feeling that this is to, hey, let's not kill him with arrows, actually, we'll hit him. let me hit him once with an arrow, then I'm going to go hit him with the looting sword, wait, where did my looting sword go, yeah, that's it, alright, don't kill him, I want to hit him with the looting sword. That increases our chances of getting of getting um, the wither skull, and it didn't work anyway. So, oh well. Okay, guys, there is another wither, so I'm gonna hit him with the arrow first. Hopefully, not knock him off. All right, now come on, buddy. Actually, oh, I'm scared now. He's running at me really fast. No, no, no. Okay, I'm going to hit him one more time with the arrow. I think he can take three hits. No, it didn't. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to hit him only once with the arrow and then twice with the leading sword. Does that have knockback? Yes, it does. That's useful. All right. That's what we'll do from now on. Check around the corner. Okay, we're recording. Okay, so there is a wither on the other side of this wall. Did you hit him with the arrow already? All right, I'm going to hit him with looting C. I'm afraid he's going to hit me through that. Okay. Did we get anything? Did we? No, we didn't. Should we light that whole area up so they don't spawn back there anymore? I feel like we should. Alright, uh, you cover me, I'll light it up. Not very lit up right now. Oh, there's a wither. There's a wither. Is he behind me? Okay, he didn't follow me. I'll, I'll cover you this time. Right. You see him? See him? No, he's to the right. Oh, where'd he go? That's really sketchy. Here, I'm gonna light this area. I'm gonna keep lighting this up. Put a torch there, right there. All right. You gonna cover me, or am I covering you? All right, you mine out the corner. Put all that stuff away. We've killed so many withers, and we're still getting no wither skulls. Where is he? Right. 
coming. He's coming to the right. Okay, hey buddy. We're both missing. Uh, I should have hit him with the looting sword. Are we clear? Yeah, we need to light this up so that they don't spawn back here. Because we don't want to have to deal with all this area. Okay, I think we're we're, we're pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. How many are there? I see a normal skeleton. Two normal skeletons. Two normal skeletons. Let's shoot, let's shoot the wither together. Yeah, let's get the wither. Alright, one. Hold on. Are you ready? You're get a little right, closer. Here. One, two, three. Oh, now you just hit him. They don't see us yet anyway. So. Alright. Well, I have, unless there's more withers, that was really easy. And... Wither skull! We got a wither skull. Hold on, don't okay. pick it. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at, look at it. I'm not picking it up. I shot an arrow right at it. Look at that. Beautiful wither skull, guys. We've been working so hard for that. Now we only need one more. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm going to put it on. Look at that. I'm wearing a wither skull, guys. Hello, Jeffrey. I bet I look pretty creepy. Don't shoot me. I bet I look you want to put it on? Here, here you go. Yeah, you have the end dragon on, so you'll look interesting with that. Let's see. Yeah, I threw it at you. Where'd it go? Oh my god. You have it, right? Okay. I'm very paranoid. Yeah, you, you look kind of cool with that on. Actually, really creepy. Don't you die. Actually, you're not wearing that. Let's put that in a chest. <laughs> I'm really giddy right now. I don't know if it's protection or not, but I don't care. We're not wearing it. That's going in the chest right now. We'll put it away. Okay, I don't need these bones right now. Sweet. Do you want to call it quits? I think this episode is long enough and we can get the third skull off camera. We don't need to devote a whole another episode to getting that. But now you guys have seen the process. All you got to do is mine out an area in another fortress and continuously patrol the halls. Try not to die. And eventually you will get skull. So we'll, we'll we'll keep doing that off camera to get our third one. And I'm not sure what we'll be doing in the next few episodes, but we'll talk about that soon. So F5, thank you for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe.